My name is Francis Pott. I'm one of several composers featuring on the disc A Multitude of Voices. The text I chose to set is a collated text. It comes partly from prose sources by Edward Thomas and partly from verse sources by Isaac Rosenberg. And there's a further division between them because the Thomas texts actually come from just before the Great War and have a sense of premonitory intensity to them, whereas the Rosenberg texts are full of an anguish of uh, conflict felt at first hand and the agonies and privations of war seen at close quarters. The texts, therefore, I suppose you could say, alternate between a kind of existential despair on the part of Thomas, who uh, lived a very um, painful interior life and almost, one might think, was waiting for that bullet to come and stop the agony um, in 1917, which it did. And uh, the, uh, the more perhaps rational uh, anguish of, of Rosenberg uh, witnessing death at close quarters. So there, there are those two features and the music therefore ebbs and flows, perhaps deliberately rather inconsistently with sudden outbursts of anguish and then uh, much quieter moments. Thomas had a kind of uh, fixation about rain, and so the, the theme that binds the piece together is the rain, which he describes as the rain falling forever over the earth. And whenever everything else falls silent, there is just that rain continuing, unabated, insistent, um, not particularly prominent necessarily, but always going on underneath. I suppose inevitably I thought of the prelude by Chopin, the so-called raindrop prelude, which does very much the same thing, but just with a monotone. But here, the choir is in a sense treated as a kind of composite rain instrument, if you like, uh, and that keeps coming to the surface whenever everything else recedes. Eventually, the music recedes in the direction from which it came, and ends extremely quietly, and does finally die down into just a monotone single note. So the music is almost switched off like a tap. Uh, it almost doesn't end.